Real estate in Austin can be expensive, but if you know which neighborhoods to look in, you can always find a great value. Today, I'm in Round Rock, Texas, the suburb less than 20 minutes from downtown Austin. I'm interested to see what this starter home community has to offer. To better understand the area and price point on this part of Round Rock, I'm meeting with my friend and local real estate expert, Brandy Fennessy. So we're in Round Rock. Mm -hmm. Where are we in relation to downtown Austin? So we're about 15 to 20 minutes out of downtown Austin, straight up I-35. We're just east of I-35, about two miles. The neighborhood itself is called Cambridge Heights. So if you were looking on the map, it would be just on the edge and border between Pflugerville and Round Rock. For those of us that don't know much about Round Rock, tell us about it. So Round Rock is a north northeast and northwest suburb. So I-35 divides the city of Round Rock. So on the west side of 35, it becomes a little bit more hilly, more trees, a little bit better school system, but still in the city of Round Rock. When we come east of 35, the demographic changes a little bit. We lower the price just a smidge, and the schools are just one notch down from the west side of Round Rock. In relativity to the city, we go from from Austin Metro and then we move up 35 North and we're just about two, three miles on the east side of I-35 is where this home is located. So the neighborhood we're in today is a great uh, depiction of what you can get in a starter home community. The price ranges here go from about 250 to about 325 on the high side and that is about 1600 square feet up to about 2400 square feet. So you said starter home. So is this kind of the, the typical starting point for most people in this area? In this area, absolutely. Definitely your starter home. When we move to the northwest side of Round Rock, again, west of I-35, we're going to be more in a 325, 350 starter price point, And then it'll go up into the 5600 range. So this is starter 250. Mm -hmm. How high will Round Rock? I mean, what's the top end? Top end of Round Rock would be about 800. Not very many of them, and those all for sure would be pretty much west. There's one exception. There's a golf course community on the far northeast side of Round Rock that just barely touches Georgetown, which is its northern suburb as well. So tell me about this house. How big, size, rooms? This one is a one story, a little over 1,600 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It has one dining, uh, which is just located off of the kitchen. Nice open concept floor plan where the kitchen sees the dining space and into the family room. How big is the lot? The lot itself is almost a quarter of an acre, just shy of it. And again, that's because it's a pie-shaped lot because we're on the cul-de-sac. One of the things I noticed just when pulling up was it doesn't have rain gutters. It does not. <laughs> so rain gutters tend to, we see them dropped off in certain price points. So in your lower end starter housing, builders are trying to get every penny that they can to be more affordable for folks. So it's pretty common for us not to see rain gutters and other amenities like sprinkler system and sure. those kinds of things missing in the yard. Could you get them if you were building? Absolutely. You would just pay a little bit more for so it. So Californians coming out this way, that's one thing to look at or look for is Absolutely. to notice those little nuances that, hey, they may be used to that here in California or in California, but here in Texas, things are different. Absolutely. And sprinklers are a big deal here. So we are a wet climate. So we're definitely not a desert by any means, but we do like our yards and that water is an issue and we do get hot. So it's important to when you're coming out to make sure that the house you're looking at has a sprinkler system because you don't want to be moving that hose around all day, every day. Is this a commuter community? This is a commuter community. I would say in rush hour time frame, it's probably 30 to 45 minutes to downtown. This is a community that people can get into that's very comfortable price range wise, and the schools are good. So it allows them to stay a little bit centrally located on the northeast side of town, but to be able to know that they can put their family where they need them to be. On a house like this, what would, what would it rent for? About 13 to $1,400 a month. And it, it, this house is sold now. This correct? one is sold. Um, we had six offers on it. Uh, 250 is a rare price point. So let's say that I pulled up all the 250, let's say 250 to 275 in the Austin Metro. So that would include Cedar Park, Round Rock, Pflugerville, all of those kinds of areas in and around Austin. So if I pulled that up today, there's only 19 homes in total 
that fit that price parameter. So not a whole lot in this price point. It definitely is entry level and it is, it's a little bit of, of a multiple offer situation when one comes up. So for California coming this way and they're, they're used to multiple offers in California, how does that system work here in Texas? So a little bit different. We don't get as crazy on our multiple offers, but to give you an example, this one was priced in the 250 range and we went into the 260s okay. on sales price. So was it over substantially? It was for this price point, but not, you know, 50 or $80,000 over. For a California investor on something like this, we know the rent, but could they do an Airbnb or a VRBO? So neighborhood specific and even the muni municipalities around the area are going to uh, dictate what you can and can't do. Most of the areas around Austin are pretty limited on you doing a VRBO, but you could do short-term rentals, short-term being like three months at a time, okay. but doing a weekend or something of that nature, you need to file a permit uh, generally with the municipality and then get on a list to do so. So for Californians coming this way, they need to do their homework and make sure because it's it's a topic people a lot of people talk about it. hey we're going to go buy in texas we're going to do airbnb and make a lot of money absolutely but until they get here see it touch it and feel it and learn the rules <laughs> they're absolutely. in for a big surprise round rock offers a variety of price points and real estate opportunities if you're a young family looking for your first home or an investor looking for a great deal this austin suburb could be the spot for you in our next video we head to the west side of Austin, to the heart of hill country, where homes can start at 500,000 and go as high as 8 million.